Welcome back everybody, Jim right here, and today we're going to be going over our additional six basic houses and things you can do to your house, base, fort, anything, castle, anything right here. And here they are starting up their video right now. Check out those guys right there, Zenix 16 and Demon Slayer 1, and uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so this is my uh, simple house, you know, construction. Um, <clears throat> so what this basically is, is it's, I'm just trying to like teach you guys like, like I know it looks really off right now, but don't be afraid to use different blocks for your design. You know, as you can see, I have like some cracked stone right there, you know, and then I have some, you know, good condition stone right here. I have some uh, cobble. I got some white stained glass, you know, I mean, I mean, it, it's a little bit thicker I mean, color wise than the regular glass. And I think it looks a lot better. Um, at least in this design anyway, you know, and I know it looks kind of ugly, but like I'm just trying to prove a point, you know, like you can like don't be afraid to like go to like the end and go to the nether and get all these these fancy uh, these fancy blocks to use in your house. Anyway, this is a really cool design right here on this rug. What you can do is you can actually um, you can actually place signs under the rug and make your own designs. I'm pretty sure you guys knew that maybe possibly, but if you didn't, there's something you don't you didn't know before. And you can make really cool designs with that. Um, let's go upstairs, shall we? <laughs> this is um, sandstone steps. This is um, in, in stone right here. And this is really cool what you can do with your torches. Is you can actually like frame your torch, like frame the uh, an anvil, and then place your torch inside of it to make it look like a torch holder. So that's pretty cool. You probably already knew that, but you know if you didn't, you know that's something you know now. Got some designs right here. You know with some flowers. That's some pretty cool beds, you know, double beds each, you know, on each side, you know. And out here is the balcony. Yeah! This right here actually hangs over a wheat farm. So you can harvest that right there. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, anyway, down, downstairs. <clears throat> and uh, what's really cool is you can actually use different doors to, like, you know, give your house better design. It makes it look really, really good. It kind of pieces it together, you know. Got a really, really, really wide screen right here, you know, for like a, like a, like a backyard door. It's pretty sweet. I like it. Anyway, this leads to your wheat farm, you know. But what's really cool is this specific design right here is you can actually have your balcony hanging over your wheat farm or your any anything farm, your watermelon farm, your any farm. Got some granite, granite uh, countertops right here with you know some stone. I would put a sink right there, but it's kind of complex for me right now. Then you have your your crafting station right here, and the chest is in the middle for convenience. It's pretty cool. I really like that. Anyway, downstairs is the basement area. Then again, you got the torches that are framed. Then you got a um, you got a uh, enchanting table tables right here, and back here is just a little closet area. You know, something just something you know. It's kind of your imagination. Just make it your own idea. And then you got storage. You know, because like when you have all that stuff, you know that that's useless. That just gets cluttered up in your good chest. You have nowhere to put it. That's what your basement's used for. At least in my, at least in my case. I love those spruce wood doors. Anyway, back to this right here is Zenix 16's house. Actually, this is really, really freaking cool. He's got a, uh, he's got a coffee table right here with a couch, and this right here is their version of a TV. It looks pretty similar to a TV, but I, I, I like paintings. I think paintings look good, but this right here looks pretty good. You know, I like it. Um, with a 1.8 update, you got sea lanterns, so there's some really cool things you can do with that. He has a greenhouse, that's really cool, you know, so you don't get rained on, or, you know, as, as long as you have water inside there, you know. He's using the different door method, like I said, you know, variation. And this is a bathroom. It's pretty cool. The showers don't work, but that's still really cool. This does, though, which is still really cool. Um, not sure. Down here is his basement. So if you look to your left, you got an enchantment room, which is really cool. And you have books all surrounding it, you know, with your sea lanterns. And then, of course, you got your um, prismarine. Then you got your prismarine on top of you. This right here is a meeting room, you know, for your, for you and your friends just to, like, hang out and meet at and talk about things. Maybe plan a raid coming up. Anyway, this thus ends his, his house tutorial. Next is Demon Slayer. Yes, well, let's go over this first. This right here, well, this is Xenix 16's garage right there. This right here is grill made by Demon Slayer, his his idea. 
maybe YouTube, I don't know, but it looks really, really good, I think, you know, for Minecraft. And then he has uh, the umbrella, you know, UV rays, man, you gotta watch them UV rays, you don't want skin cancer, that stuff dangerous. And then you got a picnic table, right here. They said that they kind of come up there, like, together. And, um, so let's, let's move on. This right here is a demon slayer, demon slayer's house right here. Um, he's used the acacia wood, wood door. I, I don't really much like the acacia wood, but that's really my, my personal opinion, I think. He's got some bookshelves right here. You know, knowledge is power. You got a really cool design on the window. You got a little hangout area right here with a, with a table. Pretty small, pretty comfortable, but you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I like the idea he has with the doors. That's really cool. I think those look really, really good. And um, what was really cool about this house is it comes equipped with a freaking car. Okay, this this house comes equipped with a car. Check this out. Not just any car too. It's an F1 car. How cool is this? With a stern wheel. Of course, you can't drive it. And, you know, there's buttons there. But I mean, it's just it's just the concepts are really cool. You know, especially the tail lights. I really like that. I think that's a really awesome idea. It's got a workbench right, right back here. You know, where you can work on your automobile and you work on, you know. Tiger's flat, you know. Alright guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.